Hey, today we're going to talk about the insert libraries and how to set that up. So the way that you set up an insert, or for starters, what inserts do, is if you open up a cabinet and you go to the interior tab, any of these little openings here you can add an insert into. So that would be like garbage pull out, uh, you can throw in, let's see here. So you grab the opening, you hit this little inserts button, and it'll show you, it'll, your library looks something like this, but ours uh, has a few that are set up differently. I added my own library here so I could fix them up as I go and know those are the ones that I have set up. Uh, you can set up different things such as, you know, we had set up the free slide pull out, which is a parallel pull up for cabinet door. Uh, you can have a spice pull out. You can have a Le Mans. You can have it set up so it drills all the holes for you and everything. Uh, and you can basically do, it's pretty powerful to it. You can add 3D models to it all in the same shot. So it's pretty pretty powerful tool and we'll get started on how to set that up. Basically from here you just go blop and there you just drop it in. You can set different settings to set the scale of the 3D part that's going in there and uh, also you can you can set max opening size minimum opening size we'll show you how to do that from the other menu so we get out of there we go to inserts so libraries inserts and here you're going to go up here and you're going to select which library you want to get into uh, you can set up your own library you can start with a pre-existing library and work off of that. Uh, for this case, let's just use the appliance inserts. No, let's not do that. Let's go to hmm, this one. Oh, so I think I renamed it for my own for my own purposes here. You can add pricing too. So let's just go through this this library here. So. This originally was called Insert Libraries. Yours will probably be called that. I just changed the name so I knew I was that was the one I was messing with. Uh, so you can here you can add a cost. You can when you insert the insert into the cabinet, you can make it add a specific part to it. You just hit Add here, and you can add a part that's called uh, Divider. Uh, this description separates. The Lazy Susan. Uh, you can select the quantity that you want in there. You just need one. You don't really need this for this, but you can set it at a set width. So it could be 12 inches by 30 inches. Or you can set uh, a formula. Look up my formulas video if you want to figure out how to set it up in a formula. You can set it to the open height. And that would be the opening height of the uh, thing, uh, of the interior of the cabinet. And then here you can set it as the opening depth. So the depth of the opening. And you can set it here. This You have to pick something under this list to let the material templates uh, tell this part what material it should be nested as. So if you want it to be a door material, you can pick door material. I'm going to pick an uh, adjustable shelf, maybe would be a suitable thing for this, maybe. Uh, color, you can set the color of it in the parts list. So let's set it at yellow. And here you can bring up the shape tab. You can add operations to it. You can add banding, similar to, to any other part. Uh, and then you can click OK. Then you can add operations. Operations, similar to uh, other menus within Mosaic, you add an operation. You want to bore a hole, like you can bore a hole on the left and right side. You can bore a hole in the top and bottom. You can bore a hole in the bottom. You can bore a hole in the back, left, right. Uh, it's very, very, uh, very powerful tool that way. You can add, uh, and you can reference it from the bottom or from the top. And if you say, it's on the top and bottom. You can reference it from the left or the right. You can reference it from the front or back. 
you can set it as a as a formula. Uh, you can set the depth here and the diameter of the hole. So let's uh, let's see here. So from that from that aspect, you you're adding parts, you're adding operations. Then you can add SketchUp models like this, for instance. You can add a SketchUp model like that. For that, you have to go to. Uh, I'll show you how to get there. So in your mosaic folder, there's something called insert libraries. And then if you click on the insert library you're working on and you add a SketchUp file that's relevant to what you're trying to show here, uh, you can actually import that into the insert library. So you can see I've added Le Mans pullout, Le Mans left and right. So you just, what I ended up doing was finding the uh, SketchUp file in the 3D warehouse of SketchUp, and then I was able to just save it as a uh, SketchUp file. And if you save it, I think if it's not relevant anymore, but at one point you had to save them as SketchUp version 8. I've just been continuously saving them as SketchUp version 8 because I never have any problems that way. You do have to orient it in a certain way to get it to show up in the cabinet properly, but that's kind of a whole other video's worth to show you how to get a SketchUp file into Mosaic. Um, now for these intents and purposes, you can still scale it in here. So uh, you scale it width, depth, center. Uh, you can make it set as the opening width. So you can set it as the width of the opening. You can set it as the opening height. You can set it as the opening depth. You can uh, adjust the model so you can say minus one in less than inch you know so if you're if your opening width is 18 inches you can set it to scale it at um, 17 inches if you set this at one, uh, minus one uh, then you can set up the elevation you can have it off the bottom a little bit you can position it one inch in or left or right I mean so if you hover it shows you what it's going to do so here adjust the inset position adjust the height of the insert so that's helpful you, you also have these little question marks here you can always click to uh, make things more evident for you if you get stuck somewhere so it also explains here what all these opening insert positioning does so click out of there. Now, so you've, the easiest thing to do is to find something that's already in there and just, you know, format it in a way that you're going to use it. That's what I've always done. You can start from scratch and add a whole brand new insert into it. The only thing we've done that with is this one here. Uh, three shelf spice pullout. So, uh, we have added a whole bunch of operations to the cabinet and these parts are very specific all ran with formulas uh, this has a formula to say how many boreholes we're going to get all the way up and so if we make this uh, like 25 you can see it adds more boreholes all the way up and it this is basically just a spice pull out and we use Titus pins as the shelf to to drop it in. So there's that. There's the so that's the front and back. The other side of the Titus here. So you just drop that on. Uh, these ones here is the sides of the spice pull out with the data in it. Everything is all very parametric here. So I mean, as you can see, this one's very specifically made for us. Uh, you know, it stretches for the, as for the width of the opening. You can see you got, uh, let's go to these, these here. Let's edit that. And then the, the width has a formula that is the open width minus the drawer, th uh, drawer side thickness times two plus uh, 8.17 in millimeters 
uh, times two minus ten. They're all uh, they're all ran by formulas. Even the height. Oh, that was the height. This is the width. So. Oh no, this is the height. So we're opening open height minus two times two millimeters, which is you could erase, get rid of this and times uh, point, uh, point twenty five times twenty five point four. So it's the same thing. Two, two millimeters is just twenty five point four. So I'm just converting this to imperial. Yeah. So that's just a quick rundown of what you can do. You can add parts operations to the cabinet. Uh, these are all boreholes here you can add in there. Uh, you can add a 3D part into the cabinet. You can change the texture of said uh, part that's inside. Uh, you can have just a graphic only part where there's no, there's no actual operations included. You, you can also add, what else? Closet hardware. You can add just sort of graphics things. So jewelry trays, uh, billiard rack inside a cabinet. There's lots, the, you know, the possibilities are pretty much endless for this. You can definitely go way far down the rabbit hole. I recommend setting up the, the standards. Lazy Susan, totally worth setting up. Uh, Le Mans, worth setting up. Spice pullout, if you do that. Uh, what else? Garbage pullouts, those are worth it. If you can get these garbage pullouts working, those are great. Uh, I recommend setting all those up. And yeah, any anything that you can do on the CNC or you know have laid out for you is totally money in the bank. So I would highly recommend setting up all these drilling settings. I even myself still have a long ways to go before. I have all these set up. As you can see, these, these garbage pullouts still aren't fully set up. We, uh, I still have to go through all those and set them up, but it's totally, totally worth it. So um, if you have the time, definitely set it up. Definitely add your pricing in here. That's a big factor as well. Um, you know, minimum set, set up your pricing. That's, that's the most important factor. But from there, definitely set up this, these drilling. Maybe you don't have parts, but you definitely have drilling, whether you whether or not you use it or not. So I would recommend setting that up. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. You set up your insert library. I'm not going to save that. And then you just go and you add it in to wherever. So let's just say, for instance, I'm adding a base corner cabinet. Of course, I don't have an angle for it. So let's just drop a corner cabinet here and I'm going to go to the interior. I'm going to delete the shelf and I'm going to insert Lazy Susan. Too large for the section, doesn't matter. You can see it's sticking out the back here. We can fix that by, uh, let's go edit, scale. Uh, fixed depth inset, inset from the opening to there, the insert is inserted. Let's set that at three and see what it does. A lot of times you have to play with it to get it quite where you want it. Yeah, so now it's fully inside the cabinet. So what I would recommend for something like that, so now I've noticed something that was wrong. So I'm going to go into here, I'm going to go to inserts, and then I'm going to go to my Lazy Susan Pie scale. I'm gonna set that at three. Now when I click OK and click OK, if I go here and I go inserts and I again delete the shelf and I go inserts, you go here and I go here and drop that in. Come on. Now it's not, it's fully inside the cabinet. Oh, it's still a little bit set back into the back a little bit. We could fix that as well. We may as well. Let's just do it. Oops. So we're going to go inserts. Scale. Uh, 
2.5. And then we're going to go inserts here, lazy Susan Pie, too large. There. Looks like it's set in there perfectly. So, you know, it's worth setting up and you know, it's always it's always nice to have things set up when you're trying to, you know, price out a job and and whatnot. So I recommend setting that up. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.